in hyderabad biryani is a way of life you know we will find any reason to have a dawat dawat means party party means biryani we in hyderabad we will find any reason for you to throw a party are bhai tera galli mein wo kutta bahut bachcha diya karta hai dawat to banta hai are bhai tera galli mein wo kutta raat mein bahut bhogta aur mar gaya karta hai dawat to banta hai so we will find any reason and for us dawat means biryani and we will eat biryani for lunch for dinner me i'll wake up in the midnight and eat biryani and eat namaste assalam alaikum sasri akal welcome back to another session with your washef at wareva.com today i am making uh, instant biryani first we have to make a gravy for it which is not instant it is going to take some time but later you can finish the biryani and get that original authentic flavors in hyderabad restaurants we don't do this but you know i have been to many restaurants overseas and for them they need something like this so this recipe is for the restaurant owners so they can serve really tasty biryani for their customers and uh, for this add some oil in a pan and in this we're going to use the garam masalas like bay leaf when we eat biryani we pay 100% concentration we don't talk to people we will be totally involved in it and these cloves are considered to be like a bombs of biryani because you take a bite it is going to be like too much of flavor the same thing with the cardamom also so first the biryani leaf in this we are going to add the cloves cardamom cinnamon star anise and the biryani flower let us saute to get the nice flavors out in this add some shahi jeera and we are going to add the chicken bones into it and you want the chicken bones to be slightly colored so that the gravy gets a nice taste now look at this the chicken bones are you know slightly getting colored and uh, some people they think it's a sin to add turmeric in a biryani but you know you can go ahead and add it is everybody has their own very specific recipes and uh, they follow it to the core that means pretty much uh, every family in hyderabad has their own recipe so i'm going to add a little bit turmeric and uh, ginger garlic paste the most important thing in a biryani the flavors comes number 1 from the basmati rice number 2 from the mint and coriander number 3 from the garam masalas and more important is the brown onions so in this gravy we're going to add all of them but when you are finishing the biryani also we're going to add in this we're going to add the mint leaf chopped coriander add green chilies and we also going to add the masalas you know very simple you want to add some coriander powder some cumin powder some red chili powder some garam masala powder and in this we are going to let all the flavors get infused first we need a nice gravy so for this add water and in a very good biryani you want some of the brown onion to give the sweetness by dissolving and some brown onions on the top to give that bite to the biryani in this we're going to add the brown onion this brown onion will disappear in the gravy but we need to add the yogurt here is the yogurt add yogurt to this because the aroma comes from the mint the coriander the nice the sourness that the biryani need so preferably you need to add a little bit of sour yogurt not the sweet yogurt let it cook for 30 minutes or even for an hour so that the gravy has the nice uh, uh, taste and the flavor of all the chicken from the bones is extracted in this add salt and now when this gravy is ready i'm going to show you this instant biryani specially for the restaurant owners can follow this recipe and your customers will just love it the gravy is condensed fully flavorful and now all you have to do is just remove of this uh, chicken bones it's better in the restaurants we usually have a bigger chicken bones so you'll be able to remove them easily otherwise also just remove these chicken bones but don't call me cheap or anything but even out of these chicken bones i just peel out the little meat that's left specially from the neck bones and enjoy it because this is got what the biryani aroma just remove off all the bones from the gravy and this gravy pour it in a bowl and store it this is in fact so tasty even on the bowl of rice just pour this and just eat it but we are going to make the instant chicken biryani for the restaurant owners i'm going to use 
chicken breast meat but you have to brine this chicken that means you have to keep this chicken breast in the salt water for at least 3 hours so this can cook in just like 5 to 6 minutes the chicken will be nice and tender and the gravy also need to be absorbed into this chicken pieces so here is the magic just take this chicken pieces just one shot not too much just a little bit so the chicken gets kind of tender the chicken is all ready restaurants around the world it's become a fashion to serve the biryani in the pots so i'm going to show in a pot the gravy is ready the chicken is fresh and here add ghee just leave little bit ghee for later on the rice and add the chicken pieces fry these chicken pieces just for a minute the chicken pieces just need to fry little bit in the ghee and after that the magic is with this gravy so after a minute just pour the gravy you need for this two or three ladles of this gravy let this chicken cook in this gravy for another three minutes the trick for a very good biryani is the rice and the rice has to be nice and fluffy like this you know this is almost 95 percent cooked but look at the individual grains of rice this same grain of rice will become like gold in no time to this boiling chicken add some fresh mint some chopped coriander we're going to add this rice we're going to just drop this rice grain by grain after adding one nice layer of rice in this we're going to add a little bit of the gravy sprinkle a little bit of uh, mint some coriander and also some of the brown onion this is what will give that finale flavor for this now some more rice the finishing touch we're going to do with some more brown onion some saffron water so that the biryani will come out good we hyderabadis we don't add uh, cashew in it but a lot of people love it so add few pieces of cashew nut just to make sure your biryani comes out excellent some lemon juice the finale the leftover just a little bit of ghee now we are going to give a dum to this biryani all you do is take a dough put some water so that this sticks well and then the seal in the moisture seal the lid we have to wait for some time so that you know this will break open the steam will come out that's when we are going to serve the customers you can make it even in a pan but if you want to make it in a pot this is the best way to do it you can see the steam slowly coming out when the biryani is almost ready you will get that aroma ah the biryani is all ready i can get the awesome flavor and we will taste it after few minutes there is a joke that people say that hyderabadi wale bade bade phekte hain but it's not true i'll tell you a small story once a girl wrote to me saying that i am in love with a hyderabadi boy how do i impress him biryani bana very simple so apparently she made the biryani while eating the biryani he proposed the girl so also one warning don't trust a man's promises while he is doing it and if he is a hyderabadi don't trust a hyderabadi man's promises he makes while eating biryani bade bade phekte hain biryani khate waqt the true magic happens when this lid is opened just Ah, ah, you know this is what seals the nice aroma and the flavors, and the biryani is perfectly ready. Look at the rice, each grain, the color underneath the chicken pieces. Look at them. Slightly, the chicken pieces need to be slightly, you know, colored. You know, the rice has to have many colors. See, some white, some brown, some golden, and everything. I told you know Hyderabadis will find any reason to throw a party and make you throw a party. Once I was having biryani, that to mutton biryani with the friends, I got that nalli bone. Nalli bone a gaya, daavat dena padega. So next day again we went for the biryani and I made sure I did not get the nalli bone. So make this wonderful biryani at home. You know pizza kaane ke liye tamiz chahiye, biryani kaane ke liye daba ke khana chahiye. So kuch jo koi bhi kuch bhi socho, ye biryani aisa kate hai. Aha. Mm. Mm. Wow. You know, थोड़ा रईता थोड़ा प्यार बिरयानी और द सेम ग्रेवी ऑल्सो यू कैन गिव एज ए साल ऑन द साइड एंड इट बी टेस्टिंग सो गुड मेक दिस बिरयानी एट होम फीड योर फैमिली मेक दिस बिरयानी इन योर रेस्टोरेंट फीड योर कस्टमर्स बट आई विल गारंटी यू वन थिंग दे विल हैव ऑल द स्माइल्स and they will say one thing 
वारे वाह